What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today for your faces I have another Polar Star overview build of a gun that I built. So this is the Lancer Tactical, the base gun is the MMC. This is their new gun, it's very 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 light. This thing is almost stupid light, it feels really really light. I think it weighs like 3 or 4 pounds with the fusion engine inside of it which is just crazy. This entire gun is made out of a very high quality polymer, but also being very lightweight. So we're going to start up front. This is a GMP flash hider suppressor. Doesn't really suppress anything, but it's an elongated flash hider that looks kind of like a mini suppressor. The barrel length goes right to about there, so it's just a really tiny one. On the bottom, he has a night evolution flashlight. I don't know exactly which model this is, but it's pretty bright. It's about 500 lumens. It does work really well. Um, and he managed to weave it through this really cool rail system that they have on this. I really like how this rail system works. It just is really nice. You can change these rail segments from up here if you want to move them back to there. But he has it weaved through the bottom and then out the side to a pressure pad right here that is zip tied on. So he holds it like this and is able to push it with his thumb. I find that a little bit unorthodox because I'm a C-clamper for life. So I can kind of grip to the side of it and all I have to do is flex my palm and I can and I can flash the light which I think is incredible. Stock, it comes with a uh, flash mag, Lancer Tactical flash mag, literally in the bottom. I don't know exactly how these things work but you pull a long string and it's basically like a OP high cap which I already think high caps are pretty overdone so the fact that you can have 300 rounds and pull it like that. I think it's like two or three times and then you load like 100, 150 rounds. That's pretty crazy, um, but that's pretty cool if you ask me to come with a stock gun. I really like that for younger players. On the pistol grip, um, it's pretty nice. I don't have any complaints with it. I think, it, I like the, really like the, the groove it has kind of right here. You can see that little line that goes around. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It just separates your bottom two fingers from your middle finger. And I think it's pretty good. I think it's comfortable. The stock's nothing special, just a standard crane stock. Pretty, pretty easy. The Lancer Tactical trademarks on it are cool-ish. Just says Lancer Tactical 6mm. Nothing really special. You can look up the gun online. It's it just, I think it's almost all the Lancer Tactical trademarks are like that. Up top, we have an Aim Sports Red Dot. On the inside, we have a version 2, revision 3, the newest generation of the Fusion engine. We have a Pro Win hop up system, as you can tell by the beautiful blue right there. I sold him a system of 6.04 tight bore barrel that is MP5 length. He really likes how quiet it is. The foam, fill, the suppressor actually is foam filled, so it is quiet. Not only that, because but the fusion engines, you can either make a Polar Star really loud if you want to add a really loud flash hider and increase the air volume, or you can keep it really silent like this. You put a little bit of foam there, and then he has it running at a pretty low PSI. Indoors, he only shoots about 280 FPS, just because he doesn't want to hurt anybody, which I think is really good, and it's stupid quiet. So you can just, just hear him, and it's super quiet. You can tell like the FCU is actually plugged in. You can hear that. That's Polar Stars just have crazy... Uh, trigger pulls, I love that. I've gotten just really good at pulling the trigger quickly because I've had a Polar Star for so long, so it thankfully transfers to my new system of PTW. It's a great gun. I, I like it. I, l I picked it up and I was like, whoa, what the heck? I can freaking throw this gun across the entire field. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with the Fusion Engine in it. I think he had to do a little bit of dremeling, so I don't know if this will fit in straight off the bat. It has a great monolithic upper rail system. Can't really change the rail system because it's pretty, it's like, I think it's part of the gun. It's kind of how it's going to be. It's all connected right there, as you can tell. The entire rail system is connected, so it doesn't have a split that you can change the rail or anything. You might be able to detach it from the upper receiver, but I don't know. Yeah, guys, this has been a quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you guys later. Peace.